What's going on, Otaku Squad? It's your boy, Roman A.K. Mr. 343 and today, I just wanted to actually give you guys another video, but this time, I'm actually going to be doing a little bit of a rant. Now, basically, I've been actually having this little splattle with, um, on Scene Japan and his little band of cronies over on Twitter. Oh, man. It just freaking drives me nuts. I mean, seriously, of all the things that people do to actually, you know, cause, like, you know, physical harm to other... No, I wouldn't really say physical harm, but, you know, just mental and social, like, outrage and harm to, like, you know, to a person trying to actually, you know, destroy them for who they are. Look, I'm totally against censorship, okay? Basically, this whole freaking crap with censorship just needs to just fade into darkness. Clear as day. Okay? And basically, I have a voice and I want it to be heard. And basically, you guys are the ones who actually subscribe to my channel because basically, you guys want to actually help me spread, spread my voice as far and wide as I can. So basically, if you guys want me to actually continue making videos like this, all I ask for you guys is to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, hit that notification bell for future updates, and let's get into it. Okay. So, it turns out that Unseen Japan, like, you know, during, like, the Japan Blood Drive, actually apparently was making some very hot takes about a fictional character that has actually been sparking so much controversy. And you probably might be curious who the character is. Why that is one Hana Uzaki. Or Uzaki-chan from Uzaki-chan Wants to Hang Out. Now, apparently, this freaking... Oh, what's the word? This guy just does not learn his lessons. He actually started quoting, like, you know, so-called... Japanese feminists, which is a huge, 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 huge mistake in my personal opinion, because basically they don't care about like, you know, what people wear or what they want or it's just, you know, it's all just mind boggling here. Now, apparently one of my friends actually ticked me off about, um, uh, shy guy, really great guy. Um, go check him out over on Twitter at Review Shy Guy, and um, he's been tipping me off about Unseen Japan and all his like you know stupid antics. Pardon my French, but basically that's what it is. And apparently, I started beefing with the guy, and apparently, the Twitter clowns over over on his side, started attacking me and my friends for the stupidest of reasons. Trying to actually say that we're sort of like, you know, the weirdos, we're actually toxic man babies, and all that crap. We're istafos, we're alright Yahtzees, we don't actually understand Japanese culture or anything like that. Yeah, why don't you actually tell that to DJ Kirkland? The guy who actually said that there was actually LGD plus suffering going on in Japan. Basically, a true otaku like myself, we don't, we only not only just enjoy like anime, but also the culture of Japan. I mean, I hope one day soon, if this if this virus ever lets up, I want to go and visit Japan before I die. That is basically one of my lifelong goals. To actually visit and actually see Japan with my own eyes, study its culture, learn the language, and also enrich myself into the culture that actually made me the person that I am today. You see, people don't understand that they don't support these things like we do. I mean, J Senpai X4 was actually doing a video talking about the, um, excuse me, the My Hero Academia fandom being super toxic. 
Now I, as a respectable fan of My Hero Academia, dubbed by my Deku hat here, I'm actually an honorable and respectful fan of My Hero Academia. I actually do support my boy Deku. <laughs> and uh, basically, as you can tell, I do have some uh, My Hero Academia figurines. If you guys actually haven't noticed, I mean, I've actually done, like, uh, one for uh, All Might and one for Uraraka. And basically, guys, I actually respect and honor Horikoshi along with his work. You see, you're going to actually have all these, like, bad apples. Because basically, social media is just nothing more than a toxic cesspool of hatred and vitriol against people that do not agree with their personal agendas. And I, for one, am just sick of it. I am just absolutely fed up. We need to actually stand up and take back what's ours. I mean, I'm trying to do this peacefully as possible, but there are actually limits that, you know, I actually could take. But, you know what? Let me go. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I mean, I just actually really needed some time to vent here. And just remember these three things, guys. Respect the waifus, enjoy your fandoms, enemy is freedom, and until the next one, this is Mr. Enemy 343 saying, sign everyone.